have an invitation here for Banjo. Banjo Malta. Here we go. It's on. Here we are. Tricep Sure versus Benjamin Malta. First game, Paladin versus Temple Mage. Nice opening here with it. Oh, wow. Nice combination. Let's see if we can see the hand of Anna. No, I can't. Very nice openings and hands here from Benjamin Molta and I love the fact he placed the forgotten touch. And here we see her hand. Okay, concentration, equality, mess for battle. Quite a nice hand. But there's a lot of tempo. in the hand of um, Manager Master. Reporting to <coughs> wow. Banjo here would love to draw something like uh, Arcane Dots or something. That's what I would do. Playing the touch to the face. Nice play here by Tricep Surrey. Playing the shredder before she kills the scientist. In case of the mirror entity, and yes, there is. And wow, the attack of Benjamin Moto, you got to give this crack credit. The Toshley here. I was thinking about this legend a lot when I when I played the deck. And my goodness here. Triceps through going for board control. Well played. Perfect draw here by Triceps Sure. Everything looks quite good on her side. She has a board, she has a weapon, good hand. What can Malta do? No mercy here, coming back with Dursley. You could choose a Flame Waker. <laughs> going for equality here. Oh, wow. Okay, she brings two cards in for one card. Bet your mother gets their card advantage here and having the spare parts. It looks quite good here for uh, Tricep Sure versus Tempo Mage, which surprises me. But I'm not sure if Benjamin plays cards like Arcane, uh, Arcane Darts or what, what was it? What was it? What was the name of the card? One mana, three pew pew pew. Arcane Darts? Arcane Lightning? Uh, yeah. Arcane Lightning, okay. Uh, yeah, Arcane Intellect. Uh, no, no, Arcane no, that's a card run. Yeah, yeah. The name escapes me. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've here suffered it, I've suffered it so many times. <laughs> yeah, but Benjamin Motor here is in a, it's not a good perspective. I'm quite worried. I would go for Doctor Boom here. That's a comeback card. Yeah, he may. Uh, in my opinion, he makes the right decision. <coughs> what a draw! Bam! Other peacekeeper. Bye bye, Doctor Boom. That's a crazy draw, man. Yeah. Oh, Malta will not be pleased. <laughs> and she's going full face. Four damage to the face by the boom bot. I'm not fancy, uh, 
are not favored about that move because you have three over damage. Let's see, maybe the portal will help the Benjamota. No, that's no good. Lady Luke is not on his side. That's a good card. Very well played here by Benji Malta to gain board control, uh, board control back. I have no time for games. But the Savannah is a perfect answer. And she drew a second true silver champion. It looks like this six, this six uh, fire side in Amsterdam is her party. I love it. I love this play. Yes, well played there by Benja Malta. Great creative play, well done. I love the fact he's not uh, spending the rusty horn on the, you know, for maybe in case this deck is going to play some cards like, you know, uh, um, Black Knight, he would lose it again instantly. Oh, I'm playing. Playing, uh, playing lay on hands is like skipping a turn. There is no answer on the Dr. Boom. She would love to see something like Big Game Hunter. Maybe she plays it, maybe she don't. I don't know. You know what I told you about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like him. Deadly shot. Okay. Starfall is extraordinarily good. Mm. A lot of cards, a lot of decisions. Is that a mirror Ah, oh, come on. Why not play the concentration first? To have a 50 50 on there. Yeah. Yeah, that was a. Okay, she wanted to drop the sludge patch. Okay. Well, maybe that was the right decision in case he has the fireball, but there's nobody who can smell that. Very good comeback here sure from uh, Benju Moto. Yep. So, this is Surrey. Scanning behind. 1 to 0. Very well played by Benju Moto, by the way. The winner of this game is. is has a good chance to be in the final four. Definitely. And the funny thing is, there's never there's never have been a woman in the final four. Oh wow. So Tristan Strube could be the first one, That's but but from the other side, this is Benjo Motor's first tournament. And he said to me, Well, I would be surprised. And this is his first tournament. His first tournament. Oh, wow. So today oh one or the other legends is going to be born. <laughs> okay, and here um, Tishop Sue is going for the Paladin again. And well, what can I say? Um, I played a lot of Control Warrior versus her, and I love the bouncing blade. It's a really good card. Nobody expects that one. That's true, but I think it's 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 crap versus the Paladin because of the you know the several hand recruits. Yeah, he will flood the board, so that's why. He, yeah. Uh, but but I also cut. This is a. Terrible hand here for Banjo Malta. It's oh, couldn't be worse in the first few turns. Yeah, but he has nothing. He has nothing. So far, nothing. But, and, but look at the opening here. A double shield minibot. Perfect opening versus the uh, toy. Oh, that's a oh, that's, that's, that's a, a draw he needs. That, good, good that, now. Yes, that's a draw he needs. Wow, I'm I'm I, I'm expecting fireworks right here. <laughs> Interesting. Tushab Sura here reading the game from okay, you don't have you don't have your war axe. I can easily drop my knife juggler. Okay, Bash is an answer. But she's not choosing for a second shield and mi shield of mini bot. Filling up the mana curve right here. Yeah, she was setting it up, so.
Ow. What about all those flies here? <laughs> <laughs> she will not be pleased. That is a, that is a good answer. Uh, yeah. I'll, I will have to cheer if Tyrion Foden comes out. Oh. You have to do something here. You have yeah. To What's coming up? Oh, that's oh. not good at all. No. Um, I'm gonna hope for a Belcher, right? Trying Belcher. Yeah, or Tyrion. But I think they, this game is going to be stabilized sooner than expected. And I think um, Tushir Suri has to take a, a advantage uh, for draws like um, equality to finish off minions in the, in the long term. <coughs> Very nice looking board for uh, Yes. This is an interesting, interesting turn. Yep. Um, because there are so many combinations you can uh, you can do. Okay, now take a look at this guy. Come here. Come here, on the camera. Yeah. Come here, sit, sit, on, sit on his knee. Come here. We'll give him the spotlight here. Okay. This guy here showed up at the fireside in Amsterdam, only 12 years old. Oh, it's great to have you here, man. Did it went well for you? Oh, actually, it didn't really win that much. Just one game. Okay. Lose, lose, win, lose, lose, lose. But you, you are here, right? Yes. You're competing with the big guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love the kid. Okay, but back in the match. Oh, yeah. I think this is the play he needs to do. I really hope Tristep Sture is not playing the Peacekeeper on, on the Shield Maiden. Mm. <coughs> this Sil Savannah's lay on hands, Peacekeeper and the two silver. Oh, nice draw here by... Um, you need. Yeah. That's the one you need in this stage of the game. But still, I think things look ugly here for um, the Paladin. It depends on how you use your, your hero power. But from the other side, uh, Benjamin Molto has uh, dead cards in his hand. No. A pen. The point of pen. That's all I have. A slam has been drawn. That's a good draw here because you can use it on the sledge bash and then he can combine it and he can clear the board with Baron Gaden. He's he's going to play Baron Gaden for sure. Well, the thing is, I think uh, the Baron Gaden is the right play. Probably Trisha Sur is going to play the Alkis, uh, other Peacekeeper, but that's not the thing you need to do with Baron, Baron Gaden, because you really need to save it for Alex Straza, and she already spoiled uh, other Peacekeeper, which came out of the, the Deadlord. So yeah. I think this is um, a lead for a mistake. No, he's not doing it. Oh, but this. No, 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 no. He's being patient. 
he wants to set something up. It's not in hell, so he wants to set up uh, Hellskrim with uh, the dead turtle of the be of the dead's bite. So next turn he's going to play Baron Garen. Everything will be dead. Uh, he will drop down to 17, and then he has Lethal. But you don't have Lethal if you play Laying Hands. <coughs> Last card is uh, Zombie Cho, it's no help. I would say Baron Garen and Armor Baron. But he's going for that law. Okay. You were right. Uh, maybe he waits for a Master for Battle to come out and then play it. But Look at this. Look at this. It's good to be tricky, but there was a slight mistake here. Um, Tristan Suri first needed to attack with the 1-1 one -one into the... This was one point of extra damage. Uh -huh. But now everything looks quite good. She has a lot of answers to a lot of cards. Mm. But there's no activator for the charge. There's no activator for the charge left. Mm. Mm. Well, what would I do? I think I would play Baron Geddon and go into the Harrison Jones. I have a question. I think I would do that. Yeah. I have a question. If you would make a death rattle, which class would you use? Mm, I think I would play the Hunter with Feign Death. Yeah, Feign Death is pretty good, but I don't have that. Are you sure? Yeah. For the people who are watching at home, if you want to play a death rattle deck, which class do you use? The answer is Hunter, right? Now, if you have faith that, I use Shivana. Oh, yes. Sh with um, Reincarnation and cards yeah, like that. Yep. That's very nice. Big draw here by Tristan Surway. Yeah. Especially right now because the warrior is very low in health, so the Ashbringer is really good. But he can execute it, but he will take a lot of damage. But we will see what's going to happen next. I feel like this game is going to uh, to Trish Absurre because she has she's such a strong hand. I mean, she has the Peacekeeper to, to nerf big minions. She has the big game hunt to kill it. She has concentration to... She has everything. And of course he doesn't know that. Yes. But he does know that he's going to be holding some kind of weird card because seven hands. Yes, you're right. And she's at, at 27, man. I mean, A lot of armors gained here. Oh wow. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> That's what she needed. Benji Mota would not expect would not expect this play. Yeah, he needs to throw the br throw the brow. Yeah, he could play like that. Yes, th I think that's the right play. Wow, he's playing really like he uh, has a lot of patience, so he's really waiting for the perfect play for his brawl to get a lot of value out of it. <laughs> Whoa, no shit! She's pulling off the combo! 
Does she have a little? No way. No way, so just 13, 7 at 7, yes. Token. Oh, she forgot to make a token. She forgot to make a servant recruit. Yes. Oh, shield slam is so strong. Right now it is. Roll and then shield slam the last uh, Wait, we still have find shields. Mm hmm. Grandma, she has shields. What did you say? And he was probably considering to uh, play Grommash, but that's useless. I don't, yeah, there's no momentum to play it because it has stun and a fine shield. And if it gets the enrage, um, Tristan Stewart can kill it with, um, with the big game hunter. Yeah. See? This is a very good play here. What is going to be here in what's going to happen? A 1-1, one, one. oh. Oh, Jones. that's a new card. Yeah, I have that one. Yeah, I love that's that. That's a very good card. It adds very much to your mana curve. Uh -huh. That's without his battle cry, it's just a novice engineer. Oh, Ganon's getting destroyed. Actually, this five damage was Ganon with their new kill. Could you win the game right there? No, it would drop the war to one. Yeah. Well, She's really can... close. She's really close, right? Yeah. But now... Now we're going to scramble. And the bouncing blade on the only... Let's see what happens. Bouncing blade. Oh, it leaves two mayans. Uh-oh. Now what's a big... A big bouncing blade here. No! Oh. Is this game being played right now? Or yeah, it's downstairs in the basement. It's live. Oh. And he's done. It's one to one. So now we're facing the last game. It's going to be the Control Warrior from Benjo Malta versus. Uh, let me see. The Priest of Trisap Suey. Priest, okay. Yeah. So let's play a song. I've never made a control warrior, but I think it's very pretty good. So go to spend some mana dust for uh, some nice control cards. Well, if you like control warrior, we have to talk because I love to play it. What's your uh, battle tag actually? Come again? Your battle tag. My bet. Yeah, you can see it. It's Masuri, hashtag twenty two six one. Start hard stone. Messi OD. Starting. The stream is lagging, I think. And do it. Oh, I missed it now. Nah, just after the game. Oh, at you. Oh, it's there too? Okay, so Intrusive Sue is going to play um, the Dragon Priest versus Control Warrior. And. This is possible to win with the Dragon Priest versus the Warrior. I made a Dragon Priest on us, but it was pretty basic. Just some random black rock cards plus some ability spells. Very good. Okay, so we are. Bouncing blade 
dogged in their chair. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh. And look at this. Acidic Swambles. So Bouncing Blaze is not so good anymore. Because probably the Acidic Swambles is getting killed. If you would play that Lord, you may lure the Aslix Swamp Moves to attack. Yes, but that's what we saw last game, isn't it? Because the Owl Episcopal was coming out when the uh, Dead Lord uh, died. Uh, yeah, actually. So, one to one now. Now it's one mana off. One mana to shot to use the He had the coin, he had the coin. Uh -huh. He could have done it. But of course he's patient. Oh, it would be such a good moment to just go bouncing blades and bash out the last enemy. Now it's the time for a nice time for bouncing blades. Just trade your put your dead bite into the dragon, then do the bouncing blade and not sure Glag like will be done. Will be done. Yeah. So six damage for three mana. That's like the roaring torch. Mm hmm Oh he's going vice versa. Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. Oh, should he have done the slap first? That was yes, the yes, that, I was thinking the same thing. So, uh, a, a small misplay here by uh, Benjamin Malta. What was your uh, band your name again? Hey, 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 Two, two, six, one. There goes the bouncing blade. Yes. Oh. oh, that was a better bouncing blade. Nice to be. Uh, we even a Lucas fan. Sorry. This Goro is making a huge difference. That's, Goro that's, is pretty good. That's the winning card in this match. Because Control Warrior can, can kill anything he wants. Some weapons have those special abilities like Doom Hammer and Goro. Mm. And you really want to use upgrades on them. Goro, if it's upgraded, you would be able to do 16 damage against the enemy hero. If you would upgrade Doom Hammer, it's... Three times nine damage in total. What's your favorite weapon card? My favorite weapon. True Silver Champion is a versatile weapon. Yeah, me too. That's my favorite. But I have really played weapons. The most rare weapon I have is Perdition Blades. Okay. Look at this. She plays a Twilight well, but she does not have a dragon. It's weird. Yeah, but she actually has nothing else to play. Maybe, maybe uh, the bell is chosen. Now, uh, Triceps Sue is really falling behind in cards. Actually, has nothing to play. Grimrest Agent without its bonus. With Fallen Chosen, yes. Fallen's Chosen is actually some kind of blessing of the kings, but more for spells. 
And it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Sludge Belcher. <laughs> That's a good draw. Look yeah. at this combination. She can steal the Sludge Belcher. Right or there. the Dead Lord. But the Dead Lord is risky. No, I, I would not do that. Because what if Ragnaros shows up, or uh, Isira or something? Is that in his deck? Alright. Could be. Or I Dota Boom, a 7-7 seven, seven for nothing. I have in my own Priest Control deck a cap, well, Shadow Priest and Double Shrink Meister, but I've never used the cap. Never got a chance. Really? No. Oh. Let me change your mind. <laughs> Does, why didn't he attack? What would be so bad on attacking? Not sure. But look at this. There's a brawl on the way. Oh, it's gonna be so painful for him. Let's see if he uses this. I don't know. No, he doesn't. Oh, why is that so? So we're back. Versus Trista Supre and Banjo Malta. We just had the um, invitation host. The youngest player ever on the fire side of Hearthstone in Amsterdam. Only 12 years of age. Let's see, this match here it's going to be really tough for Trista Supre to win. Banjo Malta looks really good. Oh, he's back. Okay. So, okay. We see Benjo Malta has a lot of cards, and Trisop Sue has only a few cards. What do you think? Hmm. Actually, I'm coming with an idea. I've never tried it, but. Maybe it would be cool to have spell damage in a warrior deck. It would be, I could imagine some kind of spell damage card and then a revenge of extra damage. I think it would be funny. Those decks exist. For example, um, Azul Drake with um, Cleave. Yeah, I've never seen a combination. Oh, he's going for the revenge. Wow. With an execute on. Oh, get in, get in. And an execute. Uh, nice Benjamin clear. Benjamin is having a good control here. Yeah? Indeed. No. <laughs> Dr. Boom. That's a very nice draw here. Yeah? We are live at the fight in Amsterdam. Heal. And it looks like Ganon's destroying Dr. Boom. And the shield maiden's being deployed, but this doesn't destroy the boom bots. Oh, but she has a siren hands. You see that? That could make yeah. a difference. Boom bot is risky to use against warriors, but this is a control warrior, so this has no risk. But against the warrior with lots of enrage cards, boom bot is a bit risky. I think Benjamin Motors. Oh, a second brawl! Brawl! He plays two of them! Attack! This is a big moment in the game because I feel like Benjamin Motor is going to play the brawl and everything would, would can go off. It really depends on what is going to be there. So, what's going to happen? Who's going to. Yusura, yes. Then a brawl. What is going to be survive? What will be survive? I don't know. A boom, a boom bot. I think it would have been better if the human would have attacked uh, the hero. If it would have gone face. It would be no, more effective. I think I think he does it because uh, he can put more damage from his weapons into, into the dragon. And then he still can get rid of it if he was unlucky. Yeah, that is possible. Goro is such a durable weapon. It's still a free attack. So oh, oh look played, at this! He should have played Grummish first! Before, yes, yes, Before in case the movement would hit him. Oh, this is such a slow play. It can be done. Look, Dream! The pre 
Just test Dream and Light Bulb. It doesn't look good for Grubbish. Boom. She will probably go for the light bulb. No, she doesn't. Grumish Hell Scream suddenly feels like dreaming and dreams of us. I can take it here. is still with two attack. But look at this. The priest only got four cards left. Four cards left. And Versus seven, seven cards. So and if the, the game will continue, the priest will lose to fatigue. Yes, and the warrior at the moment. Oh, actually, not anymore. Oh, shadow word death. All right, all right. But the warrior has much more health. If you say that the armor is health, and Lordshire cleric and uh, lesser heal. Okay, who do you think who will win right now? I think that. Yeah, the board control the priestess at the moment is just a bit. I think the warrior will win. I also think that. Because the winner of this um, of this match has a chance to reach the finals. Ah, so wow. and it's and the score is now one to one, so the winner of this game will go through. And I think Benjamin Malta has it in the pocket right now. Yeah, and Benji Walter just, just got a nice revenge, but still not it's too much health. Yeah, to, to get the 3 just, damage. Yeah, else it could be nice damage. But there's still so much health on both sides. And finally, the Justicar True Heart has been drawn. Will be played? Oh, was that a misplay? Oh no, it wasn't. No, 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 that's a trick. A trick. That's a trick. I've seen it a million of times with Major the Mo Executor Sunrack the Rose. Feign that a Major the Mo for a nice beautiful double die insect. Well I think the priest has no wind condition left. There's no dragon in her hand. Indeed. There's nothing left to play. Major behind the cut. She does not. She, no, she doesn't because she will take fatigue damage. Oh, but why did did oh. Anna? Why did Anna use the shadow of death? She knew that there was still a Grumish Hellscream. Yep, that's right. But she can take care of it with life bar. Oh yes, that's true. Well played. She knows it. She's done. Okay, that's it. End game. And game. Let's give an applause for both players. Yeah, let's give an applause. Yay! Good night. Yeah. Oh yeah, action, yeah. Okay. Thanks for casting, man. I can't oh, yes. oh. Oh. I can't oh. Okay, I will. Probably I have to play next.